Hey, what's going on, everyone? <clears throat> Going to do a weekly update. I think the markets are open uh, this Sunday. Uh, at least the dollar's turning. I'm not sure if everything else is open yet, but uh, it's close, and I just wanted to get this up uh, before that happened. Um, looks like the new candle for the dollar is down so far, so... If we follow the bouncing ball to the bottom here, came up into resistance, got rejected, came back down, broke previous lows, came back into previous lows, got rejected, uh, came down and closed near previous lows. So we have a, a, a near hammer here, and then uh, the next day opened up, it got rejected. So right now we're closing below the EMA 8. Uh, closing below previous highs, and we have this nice uh, bearish retracement that is um, coming into play as price got rejected by the 13 and the 8 on the close on Friday. Uh, so for a weekly close, we got previous low breaks coming in at 99.39. And then watch out below at 99.25 and below as it comes into uh, support in and around 98. And uh, previous high breaks. Below that we have a support at previous highs in and around 97.50. So there you go. I'm not sure if that's the end. Of the retracement back down into support on a weekly chart. Uh, so it did what it was supposed to do. All this is right here for these weeks is a bullish retracement back into support. Uh, so far closing below previous highs. Previous highs are at basically at 100. So we're back into previous patterns. We had this double top here, and it came above previous tops and came now below previous tops. Uh, no resist, no uh, reversal bars on the daily. Close looks like a down day coming in, and it's open down too. So. So it broke down, came back into resistance, got rejected, came down into support. Has this nice hammer looking, except for the little little wick on top. Uh, but it's still uh, that trading action reversal bar. Then it got rejected, and then now uh, prices are coming down and losing momentum. Uh, take out this reversal bar, and it's watch out below. Uh, but that could be the start of a bottom as we are hanging on to previous lows. 99.43 is a double dog, double bottom break down if it wants to keep going. S&P coming into previous highs on a daily. Next, nice little. Um, Head fake here, down into support, previous high breaks, now closing on its high on Friday. A little back and forth action. Could have gone either way. Price was in a pinch, and it gapped outside, and it looks like it wants to keep going. Look for any retracement back into support. But uh, now that it is closed, we did close on a higher low. And... The 34 trend line, follow that all the way up on a daily chart, see what happens. Is it trying to get higher after that nice little whipsaw back into the pattern? Weekly close. Looks like it wants to go higher. Came all the way back down into support and bounced. Close above previous highs.
or previous pattern breakout. So bullish retracement is in. Look for previous high breaks. Is it capped on that daily chart? Dow Jones, same thing. Nice reversal bar though on the weekly close. Let's see how the daily is. <coughs> daily, same thing. As the S&P, here's the channel or the reverse head and shoulders came outside the pattern, came back inside the pattern, and then broke outside the pattern for a Friday close. Pretty nice. Big head fake for anyone. Anything could happen. We got a reversal bar on the close for the weekly chart. That's the nasty. Is that a hammer or is that a uh, hanging man? We'll see. As prices came in to support, close outside of the pattern. Uh, this may be a hammer knocking out a bottom. Uh, look for previous high breaks as uh, this candle needs to be confirmed on a weekly basis. NASDAQ, same thing. Closing a, a hammer or hanging man for the daily nice little push right off of the eight came across came into support bounce came in and now look for previous high breaks as it looks like momentum wants to take these things higher but the dollar is dollar strength compared to everything else pretty weak. Be careful for anything on the downside as this thing uh, might just crumble under its weight as it's been going up and up and up forever. See that nasty reversal bar there. Closing a higher low. See how the, all these things w work out at the end of the next week. Reversal bar. No reversal bar on the S&P weekly close, but it um, has that same action. Just needed a little bit higher wick, I think. Needed to close a little bit. Let's see. Two two nine eight, two two eight six, almost ten points. Let's say just ten points. Let's go to seventy six, and then sixty six. So not too. That's not a reversal bar, but it has that same action. I was just guesstimating, but it might be. Prudent just to do a calculator math on the high and low of the candle and the body. See if you can fit the body two and a half times inside that wick. It doesn't look like it from here. <clears throat> but nonetheless, everything else has a nice reversal bar. This one's kind of wishy-washy. But we'll see how the week ends. As, uh, either those are hammers or... Confirmed to the downside as a hanging man. Gold. Take care of this crap there. Gold daily chart. Looking for previous high breaks. As it tried once, came all the way back down. Whipsaw here, came all the way back down, and the support came in, and so far. I think we're opening to the downside. Not too much action so far. 220 is the break. It's that long balance point coming in from the previous high low. Mm.
to high. Closing point low. Let's see where this comes in. Price can always come in into support as the 8 is coming across. Uh, hopefully we can get a high level consolidation and keep going into the next resistance line making a nice right shoulder as this left shoulder is already there. That's a weekly close. Pretty nice. Um, 12.20 is the break. Uh, flat top break. Uh, where is it? Let's crack over here. So you got previous highs. Looks like we closed above previous highs. Awesome. Uh, last line of defense on the upside is 12 at 20. It's two dollars off the mark. Always look for retracements for the beginning of the week. Maybe setting a weekly low. Again and again every week. It's the same. Previous lows support at 1180. 11.76. Got resistance on the way up. Closing above previous highs. Looks like a continuation so far this month. First weekend. Silver, monthly chart, same thing, bullish retracements in, waiting for previous high breaks as well. Uh, I remember silver coming back into support after the break, possibly just filling in that gap. It came in, broke out, came back into support, that 8 just sitting right there. Closing above previous highs, nice, uh, either hammer or again, hanging man. So we had a previous high break, came in to support on a bullish retracement. So previous high breaks are in. It's a nice throwback into support. Watch continuation as the bullish retracement allows prices to go higher. Uh, that's a daily, weekly chart. Next line of resistance. There's the left shoulder. That could be the left shoulder, never know, unless we get the close down here. We're looking at this left shoulder now. Previous high breaks. Our resistance, previous resistance of previous highs over here, right where the 34 is. So hopefully we can get up into or past the 34, make a left shoulder. Uh, we've got a minor right shoulder completion right here let's get that uh, bigger pattern to develop maybe a pop this week and then a nice bullish retracement back into support on that 34 in the next couple of weeks and if we can close above the 34 here this next week we can start counting on momentum to build to the upside Right now we're in the we're below the 34, which means we're slow on momentum. Get above the 34, we can start attacking this these previous highs. Let's get above previous high breaks this next week. Good close above previous highs, uh, confirming the bottom pattern. Let's just get above, consolidate a little bit, and get this thing running. You could easily see new highs shortly. You never know. Copper. 
Still trying to beat out that uh, previous high break. Looks like monthly is stopped out so far this month. Little rejection. Little, uh, another retracement back into support. Let's see this thing uh, break previous highs. Let's see the Friday close back into support. Let's see a double back. Some kind of reversal bar. Maybe a two bar reversal. Just a back and forth high level consolidation on that right shoulder. Look for previous high breaks in at around 2.7. Uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin was awesome. Made uh, some good. Took out that reversal bar there and just took off. Previous high breaks came all the way up and 1042 backed off. Now we have a two bar reversal coming in on a daily chart. Nice previous high break got rejected so far. Uh, look for prices to come back into support, gather its legs again. It's pretty volatile. Looks like we got a three bar bottom on the four hour. Let's see if we can catch support. <clears throat> but made a nice high and now it's coming back in. A nice reversal bar here if you notice that. Previous low breaks on that reversal bar just kind of came down. Two bar reversal on a daily chart. Let's see how this reacts. Maybe it'll double back. We got a double bottom so far. Um, crude. Yeah, previous high breaks in around 58. 58 should get you right at 60. Looks like it woke up a little bit for Friday. Thursday, Friday, see how we closed. A little wake up. See if we can get this thing moving on to 60. 60 should get us to 70. But, uh, it's slow moving. Shanghai Composite. Looks like it crossed the 34. Nice reversal bar here. Whipsawed back into pattern. Higher lows came across. Now it's bullish retracing as the 8 is crossing over the 34. So it looks bullish. That's a bullish retracement across the 34. We are working with a double top here. See if it'll take it out this next few days for the week. Nice reversal bar off of support. Came into resistance and got rejected so far. Need to get above the 8 and 13 on a weekly basis. We are closing in and at the previous highs. So a little, met some uh, resistance on the way up. See if it'll continue off of that reversal bar. Um, looks like 10 year treasury note looks like on a daily it came across the 34 consolidated very rapidly turned on a dime gapped above 813 came back into support and now we're just uh on a tether, but it looks like the eight's moving up. Let's see if price can stick with it. Um, that's still a bearish retracement to me. It has to close above the eight. 
to keep momentum going. Otherwise, that's a bearish retracement, allowing for prices to come down. Uh, nice V bottom. But uh, V bottoms need an opposing point. Looks like a bearish retracement to me, but it's a weekly chart, so it might take weeks. Uh, daily looks uh, bullish as it's uh, closing above support, and looks like the 8 wants to keep going. Nikai on a tether. Looks like a crack down here, bearish retraced. Gathered its legs, had another push, got rejected, bearish retraced, now it's on a tether. We're below the 30, 34, so that's why I say it's bearish. We had a double back here. Had a bearish retracement here, and it got rejected all the way back. But So we have a dark cloud cover. Um, looks bearish on a daily. Uh, the weekly, uh, again on the bearish retracement, crossing the eight, bearish retraced and now rejected. So we got a two bar re reversal onto the downside. Let's see what happens. It's in a pattern still. It's on a tether. Still has support at 13 previous highs. See what happens. Higher lows, higher, excuse me, lower highs, higher lows. Price is coming into a pinch. It's going to have to make a decision here shortly. Coal, not a good close outside the pattern. See if this thing will double back on a uh, on a no moment's notice, but uh, for now, closing below the 34 on a weekly is uh, bearish outside the channel as well. Watch for a bearish retracement back into resistance. GDX. All of these look like they're primed, ready to just get a one. Some someone's got to let go of the of prices. Previous high breaks coming in at 25, 26. Let's see if we can close this week above previous highs. Above 26. Let's see what we can do with that for a weekly basis. Coming into resistance. Anything could happen. This thing can come all the way back in to where the 8's crossing. Meet support, allowing prices to keep going. Up, up, up. Hopefully we can get above the 34 on a weekly basis and consolidate there. Let's see if we can get prices to keep going. Just a little bit more, and then we can consolidate and then make new highs. GDXJ, same thing. Let's see if we can get over resistance. Nice left shoulder, nice reverse head and shoulders, nice uh, neckline break. Closing on its highs, pretty nice. Let's get this thing rolling. Let's see if we have enough momentum to get over the 34, make a spike high, come back down into support. Or quick retracement allowing prices to go up and up and up. Nugget. Previous high breaks. The left shoulder, right shoulder completion. Busting into previous lows. Let's get above that balance point. Let's get into resistance. Let's make a a, a bigger right shoulder. That's a pretty Pretty small right shoulder here, so let's get this thing up. Let's 
Same thing with JNUG. Closing on its highs. Came back down into support one last time, it looks like. Held that uh, held that line pretty good. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder broke out. So prices are in a breakout on GDXJ on the juniors. Let's take a look at uh, looks like some heavy uh, reversal bars coming in on VNLLF. VNNLF. This one has low volume, so be careful. I'm still in this one, waiting for a pop. I'm trying to get a close above the previous highs. Still working that huge inverted hammer. Nice U coming in. See if I can get this thing moving. Looking for previous high breaks. Um, nice reversal on URRE. Let's see if we can get this thing back above and working into previous lows this next week. Nice bounce on the daily. Came into support on the weekly as well. No reversal bar on the weekly candle though. Tiny bit, tiny, tiny bounce off of support. So let's see what happens this week. It might need to gather its legs a little bit more. Maybe even come down into hmm, 175 is where it tapped. Let's see if we can hold that eight on a weekly basis. Uh, let's take a look at some good ones here. AG, nice previous high break. Let's see if we can get over 10, 15, and then we can hit the other side of resistance into uh, 11 or so. Weekly close on USLV. I like silver. Silver is going to be moving pretty good, I think. And he held the breakouts. Just barely. Broke out, came into support, kept, uh, opened up, came all the way back in. Holding previous highs. See if we can get above previous highs. Get this thing rolling. Nice left head and long right shoulder. Previous high breaks. Hold that eight on the way up. Looking for a pop on this thing into uh, next previous resistance levels. Breaking into the range, going into the range. EXK, same thing. Look for previous high breaks. This momentum builds. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Looks like NAK didn't close above three. Uh, I think that's about it. Um, I think all of the miners still apply from the um, previous um, equities update I did for the monthly update. So I think everything still applies. Nothing's changed. Momentum is still building. Gold and silver looks bullish. Um, so far, the dollar's closing or opening up or opening down. So is gold and silver. So we'll see what happens.
Gold needs needs to break that 12 1220 mark and hold above it for a certain amount of time. I don't know how long that would be, but let's get above 1220 on some uh, daily closes. Silver again, nice reverse head and shoulders, bre breaking that neckline. So I think silver's all green. Uh, we might see some retracements, but um, those will be bullish retracements as the pattern has broke. That bottom pattern confirmed onto the upside. So that's all I got. Uh, please donate if you can. Buy me a cup of coffee. Not that expensive. Um, let me know what's going out there. And uh, please share, like, and comment. And uh, also, just to uh, note, I did uh, start a channel for Bitcoin. It's called cryptocurrency prices so there you go you might find me somewhere uh, otherwise I'll post the link for the new channel for Bitcoin lovers um, on the description I'll see ya